I'm very excited. Going into my last season, you want to do some great things. Um, and I think we can do some great things with the team. So it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of unknowns, especially offensively with mm-hmm. the skill people. You spent all training camp around them. What has you encouraged or excited about what they might bring to town? They just, they just have a lot of skill. Um, and they have a lot of hunger to get out there and prove prove their worth. You know, there's been a lot of great skill players that have come and gone through this program, um, and they're ready to make their names those that everyone talks about for years to come. Yeah, I, I feel like being a leader on that offense is what has been more exciting to see some of these guys reach their ceiling. But again, like yeah. I said, a lot of unknowns, but a high ceiling, which is what you're hoping yeah. that these guys reach. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, it's going to be on our job. It's going to be our, our job to uh, make sure that they can have protection and motivate um, them to reach those ceilings. So we definitely want to have them um, as comfortable as they can be out there while we're going on the game. So, Northeastern State, kind of a lot of questions with them. Yeah, so absolutely. Don't really know how to, how to scout them this week one. How have you been going about it, and what do you kind of expect to see? Yeah, well, you know, they have some returners. They have some new guys. Um, with When you got a situation like this with new coaches, you, you try to find stuff from their old programs, see if you can um, run some stuff against that. But, like, the biggest thing for us is just going to be communicating. You know, we got to be assignment sound and uh, communicate on that line so that we can protect up and make some good plays on offense. And that's the most important thing. You start the season at home. Yeah. Uh, does that yeah, uh, add pressure or take pressure off? How do you guys uh, look at that? You know, it's fun to open up the season at home with the very first game. Um, obviously, last year we didn't have too great of a home record. Um, so let's we're hoping to get out there and start it off strong this year. Have you ever played in front of any night games? Uh, you know, I, I love playing night games in high school. Um, in college, obviously, you don't get to do that often. So it's a lot of fun just kind of reliving that moment. Um, Friday Night Lights is something special in high school. So doing that again is pretty sweet. Key for success offensive line being on the same page. You feel like everybody's on the same page. Yeah, I think we have one of the tightest knit group that we have that we've had in past years as an offensive line, and I think we have one of the tightest groups on this team right now. Um, so it's going to be a huge factor, and I think it's going to be really well. We do really well. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Are you ready? I'm born ready. Been ready. Yes, sir. What has you maybe the most excited about this season? Uh, you know, starting fresh, new team. It's always uh good to start with a new team. Uh, probably most excited about you know seeing campaign going out with a big bang. Uh, leaving my mark on the program and you know just showing how much is meant to me. So, what about that defense? I was looking at the two deep, and everybody, with the exception of G, played last year or started last year. What is it about this group of guys that makes it so special? I mean, everybody's super close. Uh, like, you probably hear a lot of guys say, you know, family over everything, you know, just being able to communicate, being close with each other definitely helps with that. So, you know, just communication out there. There's love all around the field. Everybody trusts each other. It's a big family out there. So are there playmakers among you guys? Everybody's a playmaker. Uh, like Coach say, uh, perfect opportunity. I can't remember what he says. But basically, thing, uh, basically about the plays will make themselves if you're in position. So, you know, everybody makes makes the plays when it's there to be made. So, What's been the biggest challenge you've been facing this uh no real challenges as far as that just uh like a all the new guys learning routine knowing how we prepare knowing how game week works you know getting finally getting on the game week schedule you know everybody just adjusting to that you know getting out of the fall camp vibe and kind of getting into that game week so that's kind of the big thing so far and uh glad you guys start season at home are you yeah, always good to start at home, get a home win in front of the crowd before you go on the road. So that's always real fun and real big. You personally, I'm sitting at the end of last year when you were leaving. How, how excited are you to come out here on a Thursday night game? Mm. Everybody in? I'm super excited, man. Uh, these first couple practices getting through fall camp has been big for me as far as confidence-wise, just coming back from my injury. But me personally, you know, I'm excited. You know, I feel like I attacked my rehab and did everything I need to do to be healthy. So, you know, now it's just proving it. Good job. Uh, coach, uh, how ready do you, do you feel this group is for week one? I know everybody's been chomping at the bit and all the time. Yeah, I mean, everybody's uh, – I always believe everybody's ready to play that first game. You've always had a – we've had a, a good three weeks of camp, and, and uh, now it's time to go play and kind of see where we're at, you know. So if, if you're not ready to play the first game, then you probably don't need to be playing the sport. Uh, what, what did you like out of the, what you've seen from this offense? So far in camp, obviously a lot of question marks coming in, and I feel like most of those questions have been answered to a, a good degree. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think maybe to a certain extent, but at the same time, you know, what what I really like about this group, I really do, is that they take a lot of pride into being the best they can possibly be. Um, they work really hard. 
Um, you know, we know offensively that there may be growing pains and mistakes are going to be made. That's just part of it, especially first game with an inexperienced group and, you know, the lights are on and you got, you know, a lot more fans in the stands than we've had and bands playing and all that stuff. But, um, you know, they've been mentally locked in. Uh, anytime that we make a mistake and, and we, you know, look to get that corrected, you know, for the most part, they're, they're not doing it the same the next day, you know. So that's what I really like about this group, and uh, I'm excited about it. You know, I think they're ready to prove that, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to miss a beat uh, offensively. I know you kind of went in depth uh, on air a couple hours ago on the radio, but uh, the unknown commodities of Northeastern Stables because of the new coaching situation and a lot of new players, does that make it a little big challenge for week one, uh, not really having a whole lot to, to lean on? Yeah, I mean, I do think that's a challenge uh, just because, uh, you know, brand new staff, um, you know, not quite for sure what they're going to do offensively and, and not quite sure what they're going to do defensively, uh, you know, makes it when you're game planning, uh, you know, we, we have a system in place both offensively and defensively. And, and so it makes it a little bit difficult, but we have had a really good physical camp where we did a lot of good on good. And I think that that's really going to help us uh, on both sides of the football and, uh, you know, one thing about it is when you get in a game like this, you, you're going to, you know, last year we faced them, they had a new defensive coordinator, so there's a little bit of unknown there. So you just got to adjust, and, and uh, it, it, the way that we look at that is that, you know, we do have rules with what we're doing, and, and uh, you know, if you get in trouble or you just follow your rules, and, um, and that'll get you, get you in a good place, and then, then we can make adjustments as a, as a staff if we need to. So... That is a little bit of a challenge, but uh, again, I think that uh, our guys, uh, you know, if, if it, it's our job as coaches to make it, uh, I don't want to say simple enough, but just where they can execute at a high level and feel comfortable with what they're doing. Is there one big key to win this football game without any mistakes? Well, I think uh, turnovers uh, is huge in a, in a first game. I think, you know, you just go back and, and look at the, the college games that were, were on last week and you know, a lot of times uh, teams struggle in that first game for whatever reason, and they can be ready to play, but you just, you know, somebody might, uh, you, you hope not, but, you know, you might make a mistake on special teams. I mean, we're going to have to play well there. Uh, we're going to have to hang on the football and, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, you know, we, we are at home. We don't want to give them any confidence. And, uh, you know, you want your players uh, to play within themselves, within the framework of the game and not, worry about outside variables that they can't control. I, I think that's huge, uh, again, because we're going to be playing. We've been going against each other for so long, uh, offense and defense, that you're always so ready to play another opponent. Everybody's hyped up for that first game. You know, we got to, uh, we got to, you know, there's a difference between, I think, playing with enthusiasm and playing with emotion. You know, we want to make sure we keep our emotions in check, play with enthusiasm, have, you know, great effort out there and good things will happen. Uh, and just worry about maintain, you know, our, uh, composure if things go bad and, and just keep, you know, th this group has been together for a long time. Even though we got a lot of experience, I mean, they they put in the time. These guys have put in the time in the summer and really committed to this football program. If we just stay within ourselves and, and not get out of that, then, you know, I, I think that's going to be a huge key.